Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back to our series of Extreme Frugality in Modern Times. Last week I told you our challenge is to save money on electricity and water. And I know some of you may want to know, have you done anything to make these changes, Money Mom? Well, the main thing is this. I know that we can invest money into different products that can help, it with the, help us with this, but you can do many simple things that just take a little bit of time and no money and not much effort. One of the big things, you guys see me that I'm in my laundry room, the big thing is, is if I ever do a load of wash, I make sure to do a complete load and I use cold water. So that saves a lot of money right there. Another thing, we know this is obvious, I'm really making sure that when I leave a room that all the lights are off, especially when it's hot out, you don't need a lot of lights on because it actually makes it hotter. So that's something else I'm doing. Something else that I used to do all the time is I would keep everything plugged in like a toaster, coffee maker. If we're not using these things, and follow me and I'll show you, I actually make sure to leave these items off. And that saves a lot of money right there. So for example, I, we have a pencil sharpener. I left it off because we don't need to have that on. And I had a coffee maker and other things on, so I make sure to have everything unplugged. And I know some of these are basic items. One way that actually saves me a lot of money on electricity, I do budget billing and so that we have that available for the city of Garland and I have everything in my water and everything put on one bill. I don't have gas. Another thing is I keep our thermostat set during the summer, even if it's over 100 degrees, at 77. And so, yeah, sometimes it may not be the coolest in here, but I keep fans going and I keep lights down and shades closed, which will keep it cooler. And so that is something that I do. I try to dress, as you can see, very comfortably. So that's another way I save. So the main way that we can save, honestly, the big things that take up that energy is your air conditioning and heating and also another way is by using a lot of water. I'm going to show you one more way I save and then I'm going to tell you what next week is so follow me back here real quickly. I know that I've mentioned this before but I used to take really such long showers that I would actually run out of hot water. So come back in the bathroom with me real quick and one of the things that I'm doing is I am taking and seeing how fast I can get through my showers. If I don't have to wash my hair, I can do like a two to three minute shower. If I wash my hair, it takes a little longer. And so then I might take like maybe a four or five minute shower. But I'm seeing how fast I can get through. That saves a lot of money on electricity and water. So that's another way. So these are just simple ways. I know there's so many more ways people can save money on on electricity and water, but think about this. If you don't feel you're conserving much energy now, just do little simple changes. So let me know how you're saving money on electricity and water. Leave it in the comments below. Before signing off, let me tell you what next week is. Next week, Extreme Frugality, is a week where we can see if we can give up one thing for a month, a week, and see how we miss it. Kind of do a low spend. So it's kind of be a low spend on anything you want. I'll let you know next week what my low spend is going to be for the month of September. And I'll let you know how it goes. So just think low spend. It doesn't have to be no spend. It could be if you want. You make it your own. It's your rules because you're living your life, your best way, your finances. And so think of a low spend, no spend, and think of one thing you think you could do low spend or no spend for a week, a month, a day, whatever you wish. I'll let you know what I'm doing next week. That's all for now. Let me know how you're saving money today. I love you. Appreciate you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.